Okay, okay, okay. Let's. Oh, uh, oh, you're not responsible, right? You're not responsible, right? Yeah, uh, uh, we're moving inside like this. This brother right here, he said he's not responsible for what the white man has done, but he's a white man. Let's see what God says. Let's see what God says. If you're responsible or not. Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers. This is what God says, sir. God said, prepare. Prepare what for them? For their children? Prepare slaughter for his children. For what his father has done upon this earth. For the iniquity of their father. Whatever your father has done, brother, you're gonna pay you need the bill. The bill turn up to you. Two thousand years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. If you want any clothes, who do you go to? Your own people? The white men provide your clothes. You have to go to him. And in want of all things, in one of all things, listen, 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 listen. In one of all things, for example, if you want a driver license, who do you go to? White man. White man. If you want a marriage certificate, who do you go to? White man. Everything you need here, who do you go to? The old people? No, the white people. The oppressor you go to. You understand? Go ahead. And he shall put the... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, give me the sign. Show you, show you my body. I'm going to show you who you are. Just by one verse right here. Listen, what God said. God said you will, you will put our enemy going against us, right? But God also going to give you a sign what the enemy going to do. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. That's why the black man like, like, like this, he come to us and say, what about John 3.16? Because we know that he was destroyed. Because John 3.16 don't have nothing to do with God's soul of the world. Listen, listen, listen. No, you you, you praying to Satan. So. Listen, listen. Who have done this to us as a people? Who have done this? Who have done this to us? So when the white men remove that chain away from us, what do you give us? Christianity. Christianity, brother. That's what you're in. You're in Christianity. You're against God's, God's commitment. When the white man has removed that chain and chop us off upon us, they are giving us Christianity, Islam, Buddhas, who do what type of wicked things are here because my man is destroyed. Wait, let's go back. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Who have a slave in us? Who have a slave in us? Slave, slave. Who slave? White man, white man. Some of our people sold us out. No, that's a that's them telling you that when they call out some of our people, we're not African. The African sold the Israelite. You see, that's a big difference. But they're not telling you that. They're telling you that your own people sell you. No, the African. We're not African. We are the Israelite. Dwell in the land of Him. We was dwelling with them. We have tribes among the Africans. You understand? The African know who we were. That's why when the black, when the white men come with the copper slave ship, the African sold us to the white people. You understand? But that's how your own brother sold you. That's not true. Your own brother did not sell you. The African sold us. Let's see if it's my word. Let's go to Joel. Let's go to the book of Joel. Joel is going to tell you who sold you. So you don't think that's my word. Go ahead, Joel 2. Why is that Joel 2? Let me get there. Be patient with your brother. Be patient. Joel 3 verse 3 And they have cast lots for my people God said they have cast lots for his people This nation has cast lots for God's people Go ahead And given a boy for an homeless The white man was keeping up The white man was keeping a boy for a homeless Go ahead And sold a girl for wine They were selling a daughter for wine While the white man whipped the little girl That they might drink 
Yeah, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyree and Zidane? Tyree and Zidane, these are African tribes. Go ahead. And all the coast of Palestine. Palestine are the Arabs, right? Go ahead. Will you render me a recompense? Would you pay me back? Would you pay me back? Give me the one where the Arabs are. The Lord asked you a question about the Arab. He said, Why well, you pay me back? Yeah, go ahead. Okay? Remember, it's the African in the Arab, in the Arab that sold us to the white man, right? You understand? You see that? This is the African in the Arab, right? You notice that? At, at that time, Islam was big. You understand? No! No, African. No, African. We're not African. That's how we know you dumb. We're not African. Listen, listen. Listen, you see that? You see who saw us? Was the Arab. You see us walking? You see the Arab? Because the book of Joel already prophesied what would happen to the Israelite. Read it again from the top. Well, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon? God asking uh, uh, the African, what you have to do with me? What you have to do with me? You're not my people. What you have to do with me? And all the coast of Palestine, the Arab, the same thing. God said, what you have to do with me? I'm not your people. Go ahead. Will you render me a recompense? Would you pay me back because you're not my people? Would you pay me back? And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? The African and the Arab thought that when they sold us, they paid God back for not choosing them as a people. God said, I will pay you back for your wickedness. That's why we preach out here. The Arab and the African, they will be paid for, for oppressed for a slave the Israelite. That's what the book of Joel let us know. God will pay this nation back. So brothers and sisters, don't worry about your affliction. Don't worry about your oppression. Don't worry about why you are in Babylon. There is hope for us. These are the prophets. We're going to clean the neighborhood, believe it or not. Will you render me a recompense? We want you to know one thing about these prophets. You see, stand, be, stand before you right here. We are lions. We were sent to a jungle. So we were, let me tell you what is the job of a lion. In case you know, the lion is the king of the jungle. That's right. The whole planet Earth belongs to us. Right. We're going to gather our 12 tribes. Then whoever going to stand in our way is going to get chewed out. He's going to get killed. He's going to get all type of wicked things. All right? So we want you to know that you're looking at the lion of Judah. So you better get it right. I am the lion of Judah. I'm, I, I am the lion of Judah. Quickly and speedily. But I will pay the recompense upon your own head. God said he will pay this nation. God said, hold on, hold on. God said he will pay this nation for the wickedness. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. In case you're give me some 83. I'll get one more, brother. Sorry, man. Stop me after five minutes. Five minutes. Stop me. Really, really stop me. Okay, we're going to read to you what the nations has done. No. So you're not taking that. No. For the people like here, he think all nations love him. Let's see what the yes. Bible said. God is love. Psalms, no, no, God love his people, brother. God love everybody. Psalms 83 love verse 1. World. If God love everybody, listen to this then, okay? Let's see what you say is true. Let's see what you say is true. Let's see what you say is true, right? Okay, we're going to war with you. We're going to war with you. Let's see what you say is true. Let's read there now. Psalms 83 verse 1. Keep not those silence, O oh God. This is David praying to the Lord. Keep not silent, God. Hold not thy peace. Hold not your peace, God. And be not still, O oh God. Uh -huh. For oh, thine enemies make a tumult. God's enemy make a tumult. You're going to see who God's enemies are. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They that hate God has lifted up the head. That's a sign of hatred. You see, all this is a sign of hatred. Yeah. That's hatred. Telling us that Christ was a white man, that's hatred. That's a lie. Because that's a lie. That, that's yeah. hatred. So you do lie to somebody, that's hatred. Go ahead. Hold on, hold on, brother. They, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. You see? They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. You see that? These nations have taken crafty counsel against God's people. So if God loves everybody, why God calling them? They are his enemy. Because they go against God's children. Go ahead. And consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off.
from being a nation. The nation come to a agreement say let's cut the Israelite from being a nation. Because who was once a nation under David? Solomon, who was a nation? So how the hell they cut us off? Do you know you as an Israelite woman? They cut you off from their knowledge. By feeding you with Christianity, Islam, on top of foolish thing I hear, you have not know you're all beautiful daughters of Zion. They have cut you off. Go ahead. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. You don't remember you are the Israelite. But Solomon have hope for you. Give me first king. That's at eight. Yes, let me get there. Because these nations, they have come in a conspiracy against God people. That, that thing, you know like, there was a white man in old, in old school, we was teaching. The white man, he's a historian. So he come to us, I think we finish close now. So he go to the window, you know, as we, arrogant we are, we just wake up knowing we are Israel. He go knock in the window. So the brother roll down the window, say, hey, what do you want, devil? So uh, the white man said, yeah, I just want to ask you guys a question. Because they know they are the devil. They're not, they're not, they're not denying it. <laughs> you understand? He said, I want to ask you a question. How did y'all know that? How did y'all know you are the children of Israel? You know how much billions we pay for y'all guys not to know who you are? How did you know that? But don't forget there is a God in heaven. There is a God in heaven who to able to reveal to his children who he is. Right now he's revealing to you. You are his children. You better take him. First Kings 8 verse 47. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves in the land, whether they were carried captives. Are we not carried captive here in America? They're saying that we have to bethink ourselves. We have to remember who we are. And repent. What we have to do, the first thing we have to do when we remember who we are, we have to do what? Because, guess what? If it's the first thing we have to do is repent. So what these nations teach you then? Sin. That's all that teach you was sin. Because the first word God said, when you know who you are, repent. And make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carry them captives, saying, we have sinned and have done perversely. Now we're going to read what this sin is. We say we have to repent, say we have sinned. Now let's see what sin is. First John 3 verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgressed also the law. Now let's see who God give the law to. Deuteronomy 4 and 44. We have to go precept upon precept. Whosoever sin breaking God's laws. Solomon reminds us saying when we find ourselves in the land of our captivity, which is America, we repent. Go ahead now. And this is the law which Moses set before the children of Israel. So who Moses give the law to? Before the children of Israel. Now put that sign up for me, brothers. These are the Israelites. Moses give the law to. Today they are under a lot of different names, a lot of demonic names. Uh, uh, American black, West Indian black, Haitian, Puerto Ricans, uh, Cubans. Dominicans, they're under all these foully names. But what is our biblical name? The black Americans, you are Judah. You are Jamaicans, you are Benjamin. You are Haitians, you are the tribe of Levi. The perfect example, Moses would have called himself Haitian today. Which is here today. Okay? Now you got Ephraim. Like the Puerto Ricans. Joshua, the book of Joshua. Joshua come from the tribe of Ephraim. Joshua would have called himself Puerto Rican today. You understand? All these names God give us, who changed our name? The enemy. The enemy have changed our name. So as long as we stay under these names, guess what we're going to commit it? Sin. 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 Go ahead. And this is the law which Moses set before the children of Israel. You see that sister? Moses set laws before us. Did you see Moses set religion before us? Did you read that? Did Moses uh, set Islam before us? Did Moses set uh, uh, Christianity before us? Moses said he set laws before the children of Israel. How to conduct ourselves. How to overcome the world. How to conquer the world. But look where we are today in captivity. Black men become nobody. Look at the black man. It's a shame to see our condition, brothers. It's time to take our responsibility for being mighty men. We are, we are loyalty, all right? Always remember that black man. You ain't no nigga no more. You are a real black man God create. You understand? That nigga was created eh, 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 yeah, in America live. You understand? Was created in American street. These are the niggas. We ain't no niggas no more. Yeah, we have repent for being a nigga. 
You understand? Now it's time for us to take responsibility for the black woman. The black woman, the black woman is living a life as a uh, single parents, don't have no man because the black man is locked in jail. Because the black man thinking his easy, easy way of life is to sell drugs or to do illegal things. No black man. You was created to conquer the world. How the hell the world have conquered you? You locking in prison cell. 80% of our black men locking in prison cell. Uh, the, the, the honor, what is that? 18% bugged out their mind in these streets of America. Y'all need to wake up, man. Y'all need to wake up. And this is the law which Moses set before the children of Israel. I cannot let your sisters go. I'm going to share a law with you. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Because I'm going to show your sisters you've been Americanized. Ignorantly, you don't know that. Because I remember my wife, she had pants on. She had to repent from pants. You understand? So we are putting you in a spot to destroy you, sister. We just want to show you the laws of pants. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. You see that? You are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. When the Lord find you with pants, you are no different than a homosexual. Because if the Lord find you with your dress and skirt, what's going to happen? This is a garment. A lot of people who call it a dress. That's a garment. Okay, we're going to read it in the scripture. The Scottish, it's not a dress. Okay, give me a, a say a, what is it, 50, 50 something, 52, 53 of a garment, put on your beautiful garment. Yeah, let me get there. The so y'all don't think that's a dress, that's a garment. That's a warrior garment. Let me a war, we used to dress like that to go to war. Go ahead. Isaiah 52 verse 1. Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments. You see that we have to put on our beautiful garments. Because we loyalty, man. We are kings out here. But we are putting our piss on the knee our behinds. We are showing all our boxes. What the hell you got to sell, black man? You had the, are you selling your behind? But why are your pants like this? Because you've been destroyed, black man. You've been destroyed by your enemy. Awake, awake. Put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments. You see that? You have to put on your beautiful garment. Let's go to Timothy and show the sister how beautiful garment. You understand? You understand? Okay. We, we're doing that talking right now. We're doing that talking. You're doing that listening. All right? Thank you, sir. I appreciate you, sir. I appreciate you so much. Second Timothy 2 verse... Verse... Second Timothy, First Timothy 2, verse 9. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. You have to put modest apparel. Skirt up to your, down to your knees with fringes in it. You see this thing? They have to be in the bottom of that skirt. You see how beautiful that thing on look? You understand? In the bottom of the ankle. You understand? So you have to get that thing. Then you have to put what is this, dresses and skirts. You have to look beautiful again, black woman. At one time, the other nation was looking up to the black woman. Now it's the black woman looking up to the nations. Put in weed. I'm talking about, I'm going to put a blonde hair. What kind of black woman that would buy a blonde hair? Put in, unless you're just dumb. That's some dumb thoughts, man. You will put a blonde hair. You're a black woman. You will put a white hair in your head. Unless you dumb. I, I don't see, I don't see. Why would you put something in your head looking like this? Are you a mop? Make the story. Because you're not a mop. Because if you toss her upside down, you can mop the floor with that dumb thing she have in her head. Black woman, you are beautiful. Let me tell you what, what kind of, uh, what kind of hair that God creates you with. Give me Revelation 1 and 14 one more time, then you can come right after that. Go ahead. Yeah, Revelation 1, 14, I want to show you your hair, that you're supposed to be glad and appreciate. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool. You see that black man and the black woman have woolly hair. That's beautiful. What the white man call it? Nappy. Yeah, nappy. Oh, yeah, make it seem like that's, that's, that, that's no good. You know, that's a nappy hair. But God the Father have a nappy hair. His son got the nappy hair. His children have the nappy hair. That's right. Raise your hand. As white as snow. 
and his eyes as a flame of fire. Because a lot of times we go there, you think that that's our word. Let's go to Daniel. Daniel showing you the Father. Uh, you understand? Daniel show it to you. Let's see what Daniel said. He said, because a lot of times, a lot of times, this is not what we're fighting with as being human. We fight it with a lot of dumb thoughts. You understand? The black woman, this is the thought that constantly, you know what I mean, bother her. She want to have a black man she can count upon. But these weak niggas out here, you cannot count on them. A minute ago they said they love you, the next minute they're locked in jail. <laughs> they said, I love you, but leave you with two kids. Talk about my baby father used to sell weed. They said, yeah, what happened to him? He's in jail now. Yo, yo, what happened to your baby daddy? Now he used to sell crack. What happened to him now? He's in jail. How long he gonna do? Now he's gonna do 15 years and you know, I'm waiting for him. Know that you're a liar, sister. You know you lie, you ain't waiting for the black man 10. You know, you don't even wait for a year, two years. But you, you because the black woman don't have no, no, what's the word? Loyalty. Why she don't have no loyalty? Because the black man destroy her. You understand? He has, he has not treated her as a sister. He has not treated her as a family. That's why you see home again, adulteries, fornicated, is in our neighborhood, man. Yes. Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. I beheld to the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit. Ancients of days sit. God don't have no beginning, he don't have no end. Go ahead. Whose garment was white as snow. So if God the Father have a garment on, did he have a body or not? He do have a body. That's why you can put a garment if you have a body. But Christianity said, no, God is a spirit. You know, God is a spirit. And no, if he had a garment on, he had a body. And the hair of his head, like the pure wool. You see that? Wooly hair. God the Father have wooly hair. So pride about your hair, young sister. Pride about your sister. Then we're going to be proud about our woolly hair. That's right. But the white man, don't listen to the white man talk about that's a nappy hair. That's a dirty hair. You got to put perm on it. You got to make it soft. You have to make it uh, just like their hair. No. You've been, you're going to find out in this, uh, in this captivity, we've been serving the white man as God. That's why I'm not trying to put this sister in a, in a spot. For example, look at their hair. She's not knowing. She didn't know better. But look how we've been, how we've been, uh, 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 look how we've been exhorted. The oppressor, white, uh, the oppressor woman. We want to be just like white women. But not knowing that you look better than a white woman. That's right. Your hair is better than a white woman. That's, that's Your hair is better than a Chinese woman, that's black woman. Right. What the hell are you buying all these weeds from, from them for? No. What's, what's, what's wrong with us? Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. What God said? Envy thou not the oppressor. That not the white man is an oppressor who has oppressed us. God said, do not envy him. That's why we buy all these weak, all these blonde, blonde sisters become blonde overnight. That's right. What the hell wrong with y'all, with that blonde hair? You know they get the garbage out your head? Send that garbage back to China, man. Get that garbage out your head, send it back to China. You simple black woman. Accept it. And choose none of his ways. God said, choose none of the white men's ways. None of the oppressing way. But what we become, we choose the white man way. We become... We become so-called tied in suit because we thinking that that's what make you a man. Right. No, honesty make you a man. This whole society built on lies. Like, 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 hey, can I ask you a question? Uh, 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 yeah. No, 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 let, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Since, since, since you are here, I'm just gonna use you as a debate, right? Did, did the white man buy this land? Did we buy this land? Yes, natives. Oh, you buy it from the natives? Yes. We yeah, do. what paperwork you have? Look at the you don't have no pepper with you buy them. You steal them from that. You rape and kill, no kill them. Kill yeah, you insisted. But what you but you just lied to us right there though. No, I said, did you buy that land? Yeah. Or did you oppress the people and steal this land? Do not hold me. No, no, I'm just talking general. Because yes. you guys know some history. Exactly. Okay. So listen. Me. My family, my people. Okay, okay. Not okay. Let's for five hundred right. years ago. Oh, you're not responsible, right? Yeah. You're not no. responsible, right? No. Yeah, uh, uh, moving no. aside like this. No. This brother right here, he said he's not responsible for what the white man has done. But he's a white man. Let's see what God said. Let's see what God said. If you're responsible or not. Let's see if God said the same thing you said. No, we Yeah, listen to this. Let's see if God said you're responsible or not. I'll follow who I know. Let's see what God said, man. I know you sound good. You sound intelligent. What's coming out your mouth? Let's see what God said. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity 
of the Father. This is what God says, sir. God said, prepare. Prepare what for their, for their children? Prepare slaughter for his children. For what his father has done upon this earth. For the iniquity of their father. Whatever your father has done, brother, you're going to pay you their bill. Pay their bill turn up to you. So you got to repent, man. That's right. God. Even though you repent, God will not take your repent. You know me how God is going to take you? Give me Isaiah 14. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. You rip. You kill and rip. That was you. That was you. Yeah, you see that? You see how that demon come out of you? You, you say he killed and wept. You see how that demon come out of him? That was you who did that. You understand? Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob and the people shall take them and bring them to their place uh -huh. and the house of Israel shall possess them yo what are we gonna do to the white man the Chinese man we're gonna do what to them shall possess them when you possess somebody who what is the person is to you shall possess them in the land of the Lord for the servants and handmaids for your confused brother who don't know what possess is we're gonna possess them to be to be what for servants for servants and handmaid and handmaid that means his daughter is going to become our servants as well that's what god said that's not my words you understand but a lot of time white people who come up in there like they're playing like they're innocent you're not innocent whatever your father did the bill turned back to you that's right you're holding that bill now it's time to cast down the check Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.